I got this F-150 2019 Platinum. And what I need to do is I need to put a bed liner in the bed because it came like this. So I went ahead and ordered the dual liner um, pop-in bed liner for the Ford F-150. The first panel, the first thing I'm gonna put on is actually I'm gonna put the tailgate on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and follow the instructions on the internet and they basically say do the back, the sides, and then put the mat at the bottom. So that's what I'll do next. The first step that I saw from dual liner was to clean off the bed of the truck. So I went ahead and got a towel and I wiped off the leaves and the water that were in the back of the truck because it had been raining that day. So for the so for this part right here, it's saying that I need to remove these screws that are on the back here, these eight screws with a T5, with T25 bit. So the next phase here, what it was saying is to go ahead and um, use a hand screw and go ahead and put the included eight screws into where the factory ones went, which shouldn't be a problem. So I've got the bed liner on, okay, I got the tailgate liner on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do one of these just to put it in the middle and see how this kind of goes for a second. It also came with some double sided tape in the box. Um, Recommend it put it in here if you want to keep the bottom of your tail, tailgate down And I think I may do that because I don't think this is even with this bolted down I don't think this is actually going to stay flat and I kind of want this more flat so that water doesn't really get back here So let me go ahead and put some of this on here. Should just rip off. I've got the uh, The side tie down the clamps off. I got to put the, uh, the back liner on. Go ahead and do that again Putting on the back liner was pretty easy. It snapped right into place. There wasn't any additional screws that needed to be done in this step, so it was pretty straightforward. For this step, I had to remove the brackets on the side of the wall of the truck bed and um, make sure you use the appropriate size bit for that. Went ahead and snapped on the left side truck wall um, bed liner. And once I finished putting it into place, I had to bolt it back down with the brackets. At this point in the process, everything seems pretty, pretty good. It doesn't seem like anything is out of place, so I don't have any issues with anything, but I'm gonna soon realize that something's a little off. We got so far. Got a panel on the side and the mat left. Like I said, up until now, everything seems to be pretty good. And then I realized, hey, that doesn't look the same as the other side. Something's not flush right. And okay, now let's take this apart and figure out what's going on. After looking at how flush this side went in, I went back and redid the other side. Do you see this right here? Like this, it's really smooth, it's really flush. Um, the other side, it wasn't this flush. And that's actually a concerning thing to me. You see how this is almost seamless. This one, almost seamless too. Almost. Much more seamless than the other side. This side's not like that. And this isn't bolted down. This other side though, for some reason, I feel like, I feel like this is not cut right. So I'm gonna have to check and see what's up with that because this is different. This looks more correct, but this one seems weird. I think this piece right here, it's like it's almost got, it's like it's almost shifted or something. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just put this bed liner in. I've come to the realization that uh, this left side here doesn't fit. It was just cut wrong. So I'm gonna reach out the door liner and see if they'll give me a replacement. We'll see how that goes. For now, let's just see if everything else fits in here because I gotta redo this more than likely. Which is what it is, I guess. Pretty 
heavy mat. It feels really heavy to me. Nice to know that it has a feeling to it. Just like a, a snap in here. Underneath some of these railing. I got the bed liner installed with the mat and they say on the website that you gotta let it kinda let the rubber flatten out over time. So we'll see about that because you can see at the, the back part here is kinda um, not flush. Same thing here, not flush. But you know, I guess it's gonna get there one day. We'll see. I'll definitely um, keep an eye on that myself. But this piece right here didn't fit flush, but I think I'm gonna get a tonneau cover, so hopefully the water that may get into this section right here isn't that big of a deal. Again, this side looks a lot better. So, yeah, I guess that's just a cut situation. I don't think this one was, this side was cut right, but I don't have time to contact Doorliner and um, ask them to send me back some more pieces. I just kinda need this for protection on my truck today. But yeah, so far, installation wasn't hard. Um, just needed to follow the instructions and pretty straightforward. So I say I'm about 70% uh, satisfied. This is a five month follow up after I installed the dual liner in the back of my truck bed. And one thing you'll notice is that the rubber actually did flatten out. It did take a couple of months before it actually flattened out. Um, I think it was a combination of heat and water and it eventually it just stopped. But overall, I'm very impressed with the product. It looks pretty flush. It looks pretty clean. The um, I, I don't think I have any any issues right now as far as durability goes. I've put a lot of sharp things in the back, and it seems to have um, taken out with no issue. The um, there's no discolorization. What you do see is just scuffs from the things that I've had in the back after towing some things. Even this doesn't bother me as much on the side. On this side, it still looks really good. I, I'd say it looks about the same. My next step will be to install a tonneau cover on the back of the truck. And I'm looking at, right now, I'm looking at the backflip MX-4. So I'll do a video about that one as well. But um, this line and everything looks pretty sturdy right here. And as far as would I recommend this to somebody who is looking for a non-spray-in bed liner, I think I would have to say, yeah, for a little less than $400, I got my money's worth and it's protecting the bed of my truck. It looks pretty good and it drains well, that it doesn't hold water, so I'm, I'm pretty happy.